In this video, I'm going to give you the ultimate risk adjusted gaming portfolio for 2024. For each coin, I'll give you my full analysis and I'll also cover the tokenomics and give price predictions. I've researched almost every decent gaming altcoin in crypto and I believe these five will be the leaders of the gaming bull run. Also at the end, I'll tell you how I would split up $5,000 into each of these five tokens and give two scenarios for how much return that portfolio could give. Remember that nothing in this video is financial advice. I'm also going to drop some alpha in this video that other influencers simply won't. So let's get straight into it. All right, first up, we've got Beam. This is the ETF of crypto gaming. If you want exposure to as many good gaming projects as possible, you can get that through buying Beam. Purely because of this one mechanism that literally separates them from every gaming altcoin. Essentially, all you need to know is the people behind Beam invest in good gaming projects and they use those profits from those investments to support the actual Beam token. Think about what happens to their investment portfolio that they have during a bull run. They're going to be dumping these other gaming projects to buy Beam and I can't emphasize enough how bullish that is. Yes, I know it's a large coin, but it's one of the gaming altcoins that's gaining serious institutional interest. Two weeks after I made my video, Pantera Capital invested in them. If you don't know who they are, they're basically the biggest VC firm in the entirety of crypto. And this is also why Beam actually gets more bullish the larger the market cap is simply because one, it's something institutions actually want to buy. And two, as the market cap grows, it becomes more liquid, which means it's more feasible for them to enter with size. With Beam, you can be the one dumping on VCs when they enter late next cycle. In January, Forgotten Playland is launching, which is one of their flagship in-house games. It's a very high quality game that's launching on real consoles like PS5 and Nintendo Switch. So watch out for that being a big catalyst for the Beam price. And look, I don't get anything for shilling this, but I believe this should make up a stable part of everyone's gaming portfolio. A lot of these so-called gaming gems influencers are pushing are not gems at all. And in the next few weeks, you'll see them bleed and underperform in the bull run as people chase the winners and the next shiny thing. Of course, Beam has risks because every crypto project does, and that's why you never go on into one project. But Beam is insulated from the biggest risk that any crypto has, and that's becoming irrelevant. The consensus price target for Beam seems to be that $1 psychological mark. We'll front run them and sell between 40 to 50 cents because that's what the smart people in crypto do. They front run the consensus because the crowd is never right. In terms of accumulation, it's way for people to start doubting whether or not we're actually in a bull market. And that's the signal that you'll have to start adding heavy. Now, before I get into this next token, I would say if you've got a really small portfolio and you need those, 50 to 100 exchanges. I'll tell you what you can do at the end of the video. But for now, if you're someone who's working a full-time job, you've got a decent crypto portfolio, you haven't got much time to monitor the markets, this is the best pick for you. Not financial advice, of course. All right, next up on the list, we've got Avax. I'm including Avax in this list because I think it's a great buy if you want an even more safer portfolio, but still want decent returns. The thing that made me really bullish on Avax was this founder interview from Gunzilla Games. He talks about how after looking everywhere, they found that Avalanche was the best place to build. And this is a serious $70 million funded company saying this, not just a random shiller on CT. Avalanche and the subnet uh, infrastructure was the only uh, project and protocol out there that was able to address the need that we had. And it was mature enough to be actually built on now. Everything else. In crypto, follow where the best devs and builders go. And it seems like Avalanche is that place. If we somehow get a 50% retracement from the top, so it topped at 50. If it goes to $25, I think that's an easy 8 to 10 explain for the bull run. Especially when you consider how layer ones are being viewed as legit competitors to Ethereum now. And the Ethereum gas fee problem is not going to go away. People will be forced to use chains like Avalanche. And as you know, if they want to use the chain, they're going to need Avax to buy it. And as more people use Avax, the price will go up. It's simple Metcalf's law. But this next project that's coming up, I believe, has a real chance of giving us there was 50 to 100x gains. Third on the list, we've got Godzilla Games. I made a video on this a few days ago. This token is currently not out yet, which is good for us because that means we still have a chance of being early to a project and we're not going to have to buy anyone's bags. The reason I'm so bullish on this is because it's the first real AAA game that looks like it came from traditional gaming. Let's be honest, most crypto games are garbage. They're quickly made to get naive investors to pump and dump. And this project is not any of that. They have an elite game. All of their infrastructure is already built. They have some of the best investors backing them. 
They have $70 million in funding and some of the biggest traditional gaming influencers on board. This is going to be a clear winner of the bull run, but we need to make sure that the tokenomics are actually good when the token does release. The token is going to release in an IEO in around January time. I'll keep you up to date on that information on this channel, so subscribe for that. Or you can join the Discord where we discuss it in there. But here's what I predict for the tokenomics. It's going to be the same low flow, high FTV scam tokenomics that a lot of VC backed projects do. If you don't know what that means, it means that projects that have VC investors typically have cliffs on their tokens for one to two years. So in those years, they let the token price pump, get retail excited, and then they dump on them. Now, obviously that's bad, but not if you're early and paying attention. We'll make the money and get out well before that. Next, we have project number four, which is Shrapnel. This is more of a midterm play and one of the actual quality games of crypto gaming. If the retail wave really hits, they're going to look for projects that look like they're the highest quality. When you buy coins, you need to predict how other people will think of them. Remember, most people in crypto, especially new retail, do no more than five minutes of research. The most they'll do is look at the website, look at a few trailers, and decide to invest based on that. So my thesis for this is, it's got one of the strongest narratives in crypto, which is gaming. It's one of the best games in Web3. No unlocks until April 2024, and even then, it's going to take a few months for that supply to really hit the market. You have a huge team and backing, and you have a game that will likely gain real adoption. Alongside a token that doesn't have any garbage, P2E tokenomic stuff going on, a $70 million market cap, and still major centralized exchange listings coming up like Binance or Coinbase. The bull case for this is simple. Over 100 projects went to $1 billion last cycle. This cycle, there will be even more, and I believe Shrapnel can easily go past that. If you bought at 50 to $60 million, which is when I made my video, you can get an easy 20 to 30 x from here, in my opinion. In one to two minutes, I'll tell you a mistake that you're making that's costing you literally tens of thousands of dollars in crypto. But before that, project number five, Nakamoto Games. Nakamoto is a perfect example of a coin in which the community carries it. If you watch my channel, you know how much I believe that community and belief in a project is what makes a project pump hard. Nakamoto has one of those strong, cult-like communities. I swear every day they're trending on Twitter for me, but fundamentally it is a bit weaker than the other projects I've discussed so far. It doesn't have any crazy games, but in my opinion, that really won't matter. Strong communities means holders don't sell their tokens, that leads to less supply here in the markets, which means it's easier for the price to pump. The tokenomics for this project aren't the worst I've seen, and I really like how transparent the team is being with the tokens that they hold. In my opinion, if you're a holder of this, track those team wallets, and once you start to see them sending their tokens to exchanges, that's when you know the local top is likely in because they control a lot of the supply, so they can dictate what happens to the price. Now for the main alpha of this video. Look, I know these tokens aren't gonna give you 100 X's, but that's fine. These are the types of tokens that can become part of your staple portfolio. And this is what I think most people in crypto should do. Have 95% of your portfolio in good fundamental strong tokens and have 10% allocated to the DJ stuff. That 90% of your main portfolio should consist of no more than max 10 tokens, absolute max. Pick one winner and one gem from each sector. Maybe if you really like it, you can hold three to four, but never exceed this limit here. The main point I'm trying to make is the lower the number of tokens you hold, the better. For me, this is an example I'll give you. For gaming, one winner would be Beam, and then one gem would be the gun token from Guns in the Game. So this is the kind of scenario that I envision. Beam, I would put $3,000 into Beam and hope for a 20x. The way I try and get a 20x is if you look at the market cap, if you do get a real fear-based correction, I believe the market cap could come down to around 500 million. And I think this going to $10 billion is not that far-fetched. So that's when I got that 20x from. For Gun, we really don't know how well it can do. It entirely depends on how generous the VCs are with the tokenomics. A 50x could be possible and I would put 2k into there and a total PNL would be 160k. Take this with a grain of salt, things can change, but this is what I believe is a lot more conservative and a lot more likely to happen. And this is one of my favorite tweets of all time, and I think about this every time I make a decision regarding my investments. The way you really get rich in crypto is, you find a few tokens you truly believe in and you hit them with size, and you hold no matter what. This philosophy for kind of philosophy forces you to think deeply about your choices, it makes you research them more in depth and track them and analyze how the team is actually doing. 
and it stops you doing this thing which Crypto Bante is recommending. It has literally 43 tokens and 1% of your portfolio is in some random tokens that are frankly dead. And also I use the term risk loosely in this video. For example, if you get a real black swan, then every altcoin is going minus 80%. So you got to keep that in mind as well. Anyway, I'm going to recap this video so far to make it crystal clear because I hate when influencers don't give clarity on things and are just overly bullish on every project to farm engagement. In clear terms, I believe Beam is the best gaming play for most people and I believe Gun can possibly serve as a gem play. If you have bags from other gaming altcoins from lower, then you can just chill in those. The main thing is you actually believe in what you're holding. That will stop you from committing the biggest mistake in crypto, which is selling bombs and buying tops. Honorable mentions, I think these coins are good to have in your portfolio and it's really up to you and your personal preference what you decide to invest in. If you've got a good entry on any of these, then just keep holding. The only reason I didn't include them is because of how I invest and my portfolio structure of one winner plus one gem. Echelon Prime, good token, good branding. If you follow where most retail on boards, it's actually going to do well because most retail comes through Coinbase. Then you have things like IMX, CDFI, and there's more that I'm forgetting, like Cydus. There's plenty of good tokens, but this is not financial advice. There are some tokens out there that have been clearly manipulated by influencers. Don't buy them. Even if they're correct, in 2024, so many gaming gems are coming out that people will forget about these old ones and just buy new ones. You've seen yourself recently how short everyone's attention span is with the meme coin mania. People keep chasing newer and shinier things. That's just how the game is now. That's why I tell people, stick to winners that will always stay relevant because crypto is just a game of attention. If you can understand that, then you can get really rich. Now, for those of you who really need those 50 to 100x gems in crypto, you need to look in places where no one else is paying attention. That means new ecosystems, new, new narratives, that's where you're likely to find the most edge. For example, the Beam ecosystem might have a few 100x gems lying around. You also need a better network of people. Don't listen to YouTubers shitting you their bags that are up 10x. Realize that a lot of the real gems are not even out yet. They will come in 2024. Be patient. Don't feel formal because you're still early to this cycle and be especially careful of who you take advice from in this space. A lot of the gaming alts that pumped over these last few weeks were pumped by influencers. Once you research them, you realize they're not actually very good. For example, even Alex in this video I made, some of the tokens he recommends are actually terrible investments. And I'll give you just a general tip. If you ever see multiple influencers suddenly start shilling the same coin, you can assume that they're colluding and trying to pump their bags with your money looking for a place to actually find low cap gems i'm building the best server in crypto right now it's actually active and these are the recent calls from the community members in there the goal of this server is to provide as much alpha as possible and give you a solid network your job is to just simply join and pay attention we have channels for tracking upcoming launches or projects we have channels for airdrop discussions and before i end this video i'm just going to say you need to be extremely cautious of the people you listen to in crypto think for yourself Work that extra bit harder than everyone else and you'll get everything you want from this bull market. Your success in this cycle entirely depends on the people you surround yourself with and listen to. This server will lock very soon, so make sure you get in before the invite link dies. The link is in the description and pinned comments. Thanks for watching.